I don't even know where to begin. But yeah, welcome. And if you're new here, my name is Cece. I am a, I don't even know what, call, what you'd call it. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with a little bit of like a makeup routine, like tips, chat with me, all of the above. I had a very eventful weekend last. I turned the big three zero. So I have been reflecting a lot this past year. And I thought I would just chat with y'all about it and just as I'm getting ready. So I normally don't get ready for work like all the way. I normally just put skincare on, like do my eyebrows, but I kind of wanted to maybe recreate the look that I did for my 30th because I did a very like subtle, soft glam. And I had a lot of people, a lot of questions about it on Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably do that look or similar to that look to kind of talk to the products I've been using. I've been using a different foundation that I really have loved here recently and just kind of talk about it all, what's new with me, all of that. I don't even know where to begin, but yeah. Welcome and if you're new here, my name is Cece. I am a, I don't even know what, call, what you'd call it. Uh, I guess content creator, I'm trying to be. Um, I've had a passion for this for a long time. I've been finally trying to do it. I share a lot of things when it comes to being a mom. I have a toddler who'll be two in three weeks. What else? I'm like, I haven't had my coffee yet, so bear with me. And I just share a lot of my life, you know, all the tips that I've learned. I'm very honest about things. And yeah, so I love makeup. I love hair stuff too as well, so I'm bringing this to the channel too, and let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, so I'm not, I don't have anything like set to say, set to say with my um, get ready with me, but I'm just gonna just talk and ramble, and it's gonna be like being on FaceTime, you know what I'm saying? So I have been using the Super Goop Play. Oh my God, I sneeze. Um, get this try to get some focus. Yeah, super goop play um, sunscreen. I'm obsessed with this. Oh my god. A good little tip when you're trying when you're trying products at the travel side side of things to kind of really it's more than a sample. You really can test, especially with like skincare. I used this at first. This is the glow screen. I really liked this. Um I thought it was really good. I liked the way that my skin looked, but I couldn't find it again where I was at. So I ended up getting this instead, which I really do like. I already have some on, but I always start with like a sunscreen or like some type of skincare. At night, I normally don't put on sunscreen because I don't want like the back, um, backlash? Back, I can't even talk about it. Like the, I don't even know what, call, what you call it. I can't even think because I haven't had all my coffee yet. Um, but if you wear sunscreen, you're like at night and like taking pictures, it will kind of have like a white cast on your face, especially if you are POC. So I kind of, I just feel a little bit more because I have been already, already having a long day. And this is already starting out kind of crazy. I have been using this e.l.f. Poreless Putty that's like was viral on TikTok. And I actually really like it. It doesn't break me out. I'm kind of sensitive to stuff. I usually just put it on like my really textured skin. And I think I've talked about this before. But I'm 30 three days ago. And part of me is like, I can't believe it. Because I remember when I was pregnant, I was like, by the time that I'm 30, I'm going to have a two-year-old. And now my son's going to be two in like three weeks. Like, what? Um, but I have reflected a lot over the past year. 2022 so far has been probably one of the hardest years of my life, I would say. Like, I thought 2020 was bad, which there were some elements of it that were worse for everybody, I think. But 2022 is just like, I feel like when you're growing as a person, you have like growing pains. And it's just been something, I've gone through a lot of like, tumultuous situations when it comes to like my personal life that I've touched on like I, tra I tragically and traumatically lost my dog he was only four and like that was really hard I still am like emotional about it I really can't even all the way talk about it because I will start to cry and then I had a really early miscarriage 
that um, really shook my world a little bit because I'm a very like intuitive person. I didn't realize how intuitive that I am. And like, I get these feelings sometimes and I just, I don't know what you call it, but I just had like the feeling that I had when I was pregnant and that pregnancy was completely different than the feeling I had when I was pregnant with Grady. I had anxiety with Grady, of course, as a first time mom. It was the pandemic, like all of that being said, but it was weird. Like I just kind of knew it was gonna happen. Like I don't know if I was just very into with my body. I knew something was up, but I have a video like talking about that experience. Like, and it's way more like live emotion because I think I filmed it like the next day because I wanted to like catch my raw emotion because I feel like society and women just don't talk about it and men really don't talk about it and what happened to me is so common when i looked it up it was like 75 percent of miscarriages are like the one i had so i'm at peace with that but just um the past couple of years for me just have been really difficult like with friends like mainly with friends and just like i've always kind of felt like the outcast friend like I have, I've always felt like I'm never like someone's priority all the way. I have some really solid friends that I've met here in Nashville, but I have friends that I've known for so long that I just feel like, I just feel like there's no ill feelings. It's just like I had to start protecting my energy and my boundaries because I just was getting hurt a lot because I felt like I was overcompensating for a friendship that was one side. And I think all of this is very normal when you enter like your late twenties or early thirties. It's just something that I've been experience, experiencing here as of recent. And it's really hard for me to navigate cause I'm like grieving these friendships that nothing, like I feel like when you're younger, like big things happen in order for you and your friends not to be friends anymore. But like, as you get older, like life just happens and like, there's no like ill feelings or animosity. It's just like, you grow apart or you grow together and then you also have friends who are like you won't see for months but then once you see them it's like no time has passed but then as I've noticed I got older it's like the smaller my friend group is becoming and I'm a I'm a two wing three so I'm like a helper I give a lot like and I just it is became taxing having like where reciprocation just like wasn't there and like even recently like when I've been through like when my dog died and when I had a miscarriage and like I just had friends that I thought would like show up for me that didn't and then I had friends who like really surprised me and like were, did the nicest things for me that I thought was so sweet it just kind of shows you and like I'm on TikTok a lot and they kind of talk about how like pay attention to when pe how people are when, when you're low and how people are when you're high. And like for me, when I'm low, I'll, I'll have people there for me. But like high moments, it's like, if you have to hide things from your friends because you're nervous, they're not gonna be happy for you, you probably should be friends with them. So I just been going through a lot of that the past couple of years. And now this new decade, I just feel like a rebirth. Maybe that's just me being dramatic, but just a little bit of like, my mind lately what I've been going through and just I've been focusing on my mental health I'm getting back into therapy because I'm trying to like heal my inner child and I can go on and on and on about that I haven't even started my foundation yet so I have been eyeing the Westman I never can say the last word Atelier Atelier and it's a stick foundation and I'm in color 10 I think yeah 10 and what I did when I first put this on, I just put it directly onto my skin like this and just like drew lines. I'm, I probably use a little too much doing this, but this is actually a really full coverage foundation. What I like to do, this is the Sephora collection brush that I really like and kind of just like buff it into my skin. And this is one of the first foundations that like really color corrects my like darker area around here. Better than other ones. Like other ones just pull really ashy on me, which is like, oh my God, how did I get this in my hair like that? I've just been going through a lot. Like, like as a mom, like navigating all these things like with the past couple months has been hard, like having to explain that to your kid 
and they're not really old enough to understand what's going on and like you still have to turn on and be a mom that's been hard because before when I would go through things before I was a parent you could just like be in your bed all day binge shows your shows feel it all away and not have to worry about how your emotions can possibly affect anyone else in that way as it does to a child and a parent so yeah i just been really reflecting really trying to get my shit together i've been working out again um i know i talked about like my breastfeeding journey and how i like gained weight breastfeeding i'm like down i think like 20 pounds which i don't know if that's just like not being hungry all the time or like if my hormones were imbalanced because I think I touched on this. I don't know where I've talked about this when. So if you heard this, like, whatever. But basically, like, when I was breastfeeding, it took a year for my period to come back. And then it took, a, like, like, after I weaned, it took, like, four months for my cycle to be how it was before baby. And I feel like once that happened, I felt a lot better. It was weird. That could just be because I'm just like getting more sleep. I get like full seven, eight hours, sometimes nine hours at night again. Like I'm starting to wake up before Grady. If you're someone like struggling, finding that time for yourself, say you're a stay at home mom and your husband works a lot, your partner works a lot, or you were a working mom and you like go to work and then come home and have to do bedtime and everything, get up before your kids because I'm not a morning person and I've been preaching it lately because it's really made a difference in my, my mental health even like 30 minutes before like get up before your kids because you need that time this brush is really dirty because I used it like the other day I need to clean my brushes I still I use eyeshadow palettes I've had for so long I need to look at a new eyeshadow palette I want to get one here soon I haven't bought I think the last one I bought was Charlotte Tilbury which I used a mix of this. I really like the burnt orange and um, I can do this without dropping it. Oh, how do people do this so easily? The burnt orange in Anastasia for me is like the perfect crease color. And I'm gonna have some black in here because it's already on my brush. So it's already making me have the look again. I had like a really soft like smoky eye for my birthday together kind of worked out that my brush was dirty I kind of just like bring it out with hooded eyes you kind of want to go as wide like I have pretty hooded I have hooded eyes and I try to like create space between here and here I have the Charlotte Tilbury Dulce Vita eyeshadow palette and I actually had uh, a, a, what's it called a rep like teach me how to use this when I worked at Nordstrom. It like uses her fingers a lot and technically like the shivers, you're supposed to use your fingers and like warm it up. Do I do that? No. Even though that's like the best technique. I'm just doing, I'm not doing like the full look cause I'm like working. Like, like what's going on with you today? Cause normally I don't do like eyeshadow when I'm getting ready if I do makeup or if I'm doing like a video. So it's gonna look kind of crazy at first. But I use this color and then I'll take this dark brown and kind of go back and just create some depth. Trust the process. I'm going to have to keep cutting out my coffee. Anyway, so I really have been loving, I can find it, the bronzer stick by Rare Beauty. Like, this is probably one of my favorite favorite items like if I had to take one makeup product to an island this would be it because you can make yourself look real cute and it's lasted me a while I think I've had this for like at least six months blushes but they're really um potent is that for, not that the right word it's very uh why can i not talk today it's very um sh opaque like it's just i can't even think of the word but it's just you little goes a long way and the color i got is just not the best for me like, i'll use it and i just looked a little too like pink so it just isn't what i like i like more like lighter pink blushes and like purples or like a nude I uh, a new wedding band which some people have noticed in my stories and i think i kind of went 
the opposite direction as most people do once they like been married for a while we hit our five-year anniversary and I really wasn't expecting him to get me this because I really didn't know what he was gonna do I thought just like us being like off and going to places and stuff I thought that was what we were doing but I was actually really shocked that he did this so I have as I've gotten older I have just I love my original set like I would probably still wear it and then put this ring maybe on my other finger if I ever want to wear my set again. I love my original set. It's Neil Lane. It's timeless. Like I, the design I got, I really love. I love it to this very day. There's nothing wrong with my rings and I would have kept them for life. Like, and I still wear them. But as I become a parent, it's just a lot to have in my hand when I'm like doing all these different things and I don't want to scratch Grady. And so i normally just wear like athletic band majority of the time and so i was like you know what i would love like okay my camera was getting too hot sometimes when i filmed for too long it does that but i think i want like some people get like a way bigger ring bigger diamond i just like no shade i just like don't care like 24 year old me probably would have been like wait what at 30 like we don't want like a bigger ring i just like i don't get me wrong i like i love nice things like i have a few designer pieces but i would rather just have something else and my ring that greg got me is still really nice but he just got me like a cartier like band which is like as you can see it's really it's like blurring out but let's see if i can get in focus yeah it's perfect like it's exactly i don't take it off it's easy to wear it's like wearing my athletic band but something a little bit nicer and i think i just rather i like gold jewelry too so i'm obviously going to still hold on to my other ring and keep it and have it forever and make it like an heirloom because it still is like pretty expensive not as expensive as like I would say like it's in like the more affordable side of things. These girls I see they're like my age that have like similar tax bracket or richer they have like 20k rings or like 30k rings or 40k rings like their their rings are like I don't know I'd be scared to wear my ring out in public like the whole like Kim Kardashian at all it just like scares me like having that expensive stuff and now I can like travel and not like freak out all the time about my rings because I'll never take this off um my other rings I would always have to take off because it would give me like this weird rash in between like my bands and I didn't like that so I went the different route and it's just again like whatever makes you happy in your journey and f everyone else because do what you want to do and that's something that I had to learn like I had to like just become my own which I've already kind of had to be just like being the person I am in the environment that I was in growing up I learned at a very young age to be an individual and like not compare myself to other people and I think it's really helped me in adulthood because it's hard having friends who just aren't happy for you and you have to filter yourself and it's exhausting to be like oh I can't talk about this I can't talk about this but then when something bad happens it's like everyone wants to know what happened like when Louie died I could tell people really wanted to know what happened some like genuinely wanted to know but some just like wanted to be nosy and, and just wanted to know what happened and it's very obvious that it comes through like that and I'm just like I can go on and on and on but I just have been really battling a lot of things even more personal stuff with like my mental health and things like that and I just I'm trying to be the best person I can for my kid and not I've been right now my parenting journey I have been really big on like regulating my emotions before responding to Grady my eyebrows are gonna look crazy right now but F it and but that's because I've learned that 
if I ever, ever have gotten upset with him or, or didn't really have the patience for him, it was because I was emotionally like tripping. So I've been learning like how to really like check myself when it comes to parenting and like having the patience because that's what I wanted too. Like I want someone to listen to me and be patient with me and he's just a kid. And I know it's, it can be hard, really hard when they're little and like trying to deal with their emotions. But I really try to talk Grady through it and I like try to practice like breathing because I wish as a kid I was learned, I was taught how to handle my emotions my anxieties learn about meditation breathing and like how to calm down and in a not an annoying way like a, a more inviting way and i don't want him to think like you know it's okay to be anxious sometimes and sad and feel those emotions and feel it and be in the process of it and you know like i've just been trying to like put all my energy towards that and that's kind of where i've been at when it comes to Grady. I have the house together-ish, the downstairs. I'm like two or three projects away. I still need to do the powder room, but we're gonna, since Grady's party's gonna be here in a couple of weeks, we're gonna go ahead and put like, we still haven't had like the toilet hold, toilet paper holder and the like, hand towel holder yet because we're gonna do wallpaper and we want to go like do that after but it's been we've been procrastinating it because we need his mom to come and do it because she's really good at wallpaper so we're gonna wait and just do that like but like people have a, a comfortable place to use the bathroom because right now it's kind of annoying so i have that to do crazy um my camera is acting crazy i don't know if it's just the setting i have on it but so I recently got a haircut and I was in the rain. So my hair is kind of like blah. And I went to my friend, um, Emily, who's really good. Um, a little heavy on the product and she said she knows she did. So my hair is just like a little bit more greasier than it normally is by like, I don't even know, this looks like a week and a half hair. It's like five day hair. And I haven't used a dry shampoo yet. Kind of find, find one that's a little bit cleaner in products. So it kind of is what it is, but I really like my haircut. I needed, I just needed a lot. Like it's more manageable. Like before my hair was like here, it was like to my, my bib. It was just, it was just becoming too much. And Yes, I'm using a wet brush because I left my real brush at Greg's parents' house. Anyway, I'm just kind of going to go over a little bit. Just like get the frizzes out. I'm not going to like really straighten my hair. Just kind of like Nashville. You're looking for an amazing hairdresser. She gets my hair so straight. Um, it's kind of nuts how straight she gets my hair. Um, she is in Madison. It's Corey Lachey on Instagram. I love her. She is a one woman show. And she's a boss bitch. And I've been going to her for years, but I wanted to support my friend Emily and she's, Emily's really good at cutting hair. Um, I wanted like a style, like a, some layers and just where I can wear it curly and straight. The hard part of having your hair both ways is finding a haircut to sustain it, which has been challenging for me. I'm interested to see how my hair will hold, um, how it will hold or how it will look curly because she cut like this layer back here, she cut the most off there. She just trimmed like these layers and so hopefully she cut off enough of it where it looks better curly I'm excited to wash it but I'm trying to get my money's worth and wear it as straight as possible for as long as possible so I'm kind of just like going through it I don't even know if this video is gonna be any good but it is what it is because this is what I had planned for this week 
I need to think of other things to talk about. It's just hard when I have a full-time job and we have like such, you know, amount of time to do stuff and film. So, a lot of cute stuff lately and I might be like my mom wardrobe and like show like what I wear now and like the outfits I choose and do a video like that. So I probably will do this. I do have some meetings with people. Let's see how that kind of like a messy like clipped up look. I don't know how I feel about this. We will see when I get out there and I try to be cute. I try to be basic and cute. I try, I try, I try. Here is a up close version of it. You could obviously add lashes. You want to be a little bit more glam, just not my jam. And ignore my messy room. I'm trying to turn y'all around. This is my outfit. I've been wearing Greg sweatpants. I just love them so much. It's Abercrombie sweatshirt, Abercrombie tee my shoes and i'm just been chilling this is the end of my video i hope y'all love it comment below with any questions you may have um i think i'm gonna do like my wardrobe capsule i've been trying to invest in more like timeless pieces basics to like really um to really make myself feel more confident especially as a new mom so yeah i'll see y'all later bye